Welcome to beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Uh, yeah, what do you think about uh, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho? Uh, like I said, welcome to beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous here. We're on the lake. We have like a big park here. There's hiking and a mountain right over there. Well, not a mountain, but yeah. a hill. Um, hiking area, the downtown, their street. Um, is on one of the best places, one of the best streets of America, I think is what it said. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool here. I was telling Kim, it's basically, when you pick up a travel guide to a place and it shows you all the best things about a place, it's all right here. I mean, they've got literally everything. Um, you walk down, they got a live concert going on right now. They've got little kid jumpy houses. They've got uh, biking trails. They've got hiking trails. They've got people on the lake. They got sunsets going on. They got little oh. bars on the water. One thing we noticed, so we paid it to park in a, a paid for parking lot, something you typically see in most cities. They actually have an hourly boat parking lot. <laughs> so at the marina right here, you can pay by hour. It's like $2 an hour. So you can, if you live across the lake, hop in your boat, come over, pay to pay to park your boat, and then come enjoy the whole downtown. I've never seen that before. It's that, amazing. that was pretty cool. Landscaping is beautiful. Yeah. Everything's the, it's green. The, everything's mowed. Uh, it's, it's actually a, a really cool city. Um, we went to Sandpoint, as you guys have saw. And, uh, Sandpoint was a neat little town, but this one here, it's way more lively. They've got the college. Uh, everything, more of the stores were open. They've got so many restaurants, breweries, wineries, distilleries. Uh, just a really cool uh, downtown scene. So anyway, so we'll show you around uh, Coeur d'Alene and we hope you folks enjoy. So it says the American Planning Association through Great Places in America designates Sherman Avenue, that's the street we're on right now, in Coeur d'Alene as a great street in 2016. And we were just commenting about how nice this street is. How they've, you know, they're older buildings, but you don't have, you know, power lines, you don't have any of that, everything's nice and clean. You've got huge hanging baskets with flowers in them. It's beautiful. Dude, is that like the best thing you've ever smelled in your life walking Caribou. past that? Like there's a reason they have the door open. Wow. They have crepes too. Yeah, you walk right by and the window's oh, wide open and, and you the can wind's just smell blowing. all of their uh, cookies. That was not fair. <laughs> There we go. Cheers. Cheers. I'll be your huckleberry. What do you got there? Yeah. <laughs> a huckleberry daiquiri. You're all about the huckleberry, aren't you? When you're in these parts, you gotta have huckleberry. You don't get huckleberry at home. So literally, like every time we've gone out, I've gotten huckleberry. <laughs> Bahama Mama for me. It is tasty. Welcome to the world's longest floating boardwalk. At 3,300 feet, nearly three quarters of a mile long and 12 feet wide, the Coeur d'Alene Resort Floating Boardwalk is the longest floating boardwalk in the world and encircles the marina on Lake Coeur d'Alene. A 60 foot long arch bridge provides access to the marina and great views for pedestrians too. There's a bar at the west entrance, picnic and seating areas along the way, and the boardwalk is illuminated in the evening. This is definitely a can't miss stop on any trip to Coeur d'Alene. This place, absolutely amazing. I, I don't even, words can't even describe how pretty it is here. So definitely if you get a chance, you have to visit Coeur d'Alene. Uh, people are saying this resort here is about 300 bucks a night to, uh, to start. Uh, but where you're at, right next to downtown and having this view, well worth every, every cent.
Well, everyone, that about wraps up our stay in beautiful Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. What an absolutely fantastic city. Actually, probably one of the nicest Kim and I have ever seen. Uh, the downtown, the parks, sidewalks, roadways, etc. Everything was just in pristine condition. I uh, really couldn't believe how pretty it was there. So many restaurants, so many bars, shops to see and experience. We would have had to have been there for weeks, and unfortunately we just couldn't do it all in the short period of time we were there. But I do know I speak for Kim when I say that we'll definitely be back uh, visiting Coeur d'Alene again. During our week-long stay in the area, we stayed at Silverwood RV Park, which is centrally located right between Coeur d'Alene and the beautiful city of Sandpoint, another just fantastic city. We also have a video on Sandpoint that we uh, put up a, a little bit ago, so if you're curious to know about Sandpoint, uh, go ahead and check that video out. Uh, we chose to stay in that RV park due to the cell service we got. We were working remote that week and had to have good cell service and we were able to get four bars um, at the RV park there. So highly recommend uh, that RV park, especially if you're going to spend any time at Silverwood Theme Park, which is directly across the street. So you can't beat that location. Uh, for us though, if we go back, there's no doubt uh, we'll be looking to stay at Farragut State Park. That park was amazing. Uh, probably sound like a broken record, but one of the nicest that Kim and I had ever seen. And we live in the Northwest and spend a lot of time on the Oregon coast, as you guys know, that follow us. And uh, we have some fantastic state parks here as well. But that one has so much privacy, um, and the lake was just unreal. Uh, it, it looked like a postcard, um, how green it was. I mean, again, so many tames, just very little people. Uh, the park itself, you know, had um, folks camping, but very few people on the lake and it was a beautiful day so it's just not a crowded area as well very um, if you look at the population it is growing quite a bit uh, especially now with so many people being able to work remote but still an excellent area to move to if anybody's looking to relocate or if you're just looking to visit somewhere beautiful uh, we highly recommend it so if you're new to the channel i uh, hope you consider subscribing following us on another adventure and for those that uh, have been following us thank you guys so much for your support and safe travels everyone until next time <laughs>